Okay, so we both agreed that CCNA is not enough, especially for those who are starting their career as help desk. Because again, there are too many CCNAs in the world. And if you're a CCNA, your original goal is to be a network engineer. Sure. So if you start as a help desk, and if you want to level up, what would be the best complement with CCNA? Well, it depends. Of course, it depends on your what job specialization. What you really want to do, yeah. yeah. Okay, so what is the, the higher chance of getting hired as a network engineer? And of course, uh, higher chances to getting more money. Okay, yeah. So for network engineer, it's a, there's a very simple, definitely correct answer, which is to do the CCMP afterwards. I know that there are different CCNP tracks. tracks. Yeah. So the natural one to do after the CCNA is the CCNP Enterprise, mm -hmm. because there's actually there's loads of crossover between the two exams. In fact, to do the CCNP Enterprise, I'd say you only need to learn five to ten percent new information. All the other stuff you've just learned on the CCNA. So that's also a big reason why the best time to do it is straight after the CCNA. If you've just passed the CCNA, you've already got all that routing and, and switching information really fresh in your head. So you go and do the CCNP Enterprise directly afterwards. The, en it's, the Encore, you're specific for the Encore. Yeah, well, yeah. so it's two exams. Two exams, the Encore and, and the Concentration. Yeah, so, but to for the certification you have to pass two sure. exams and the first exam to do is of course encore and yes i recommend that you do it straight away after the ccna because then you only need to top up with a little bit of extra information in fact it's, and it's on the same topics yeah so you're not really you're learning anything brand new you're just going a little bit deeper on the stuff that you know already yeah they still talk about stp they still talk yeah. about uh routing it's still yeah. there vlans is still there everything they all, added all the a core. little more security but yeah. it's uh obviously an upgrade specifically the encore yeah from ccna to encore is encore is a little more advanced yeah 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 it just it just goes a bit deeper so when when you've passed the encore you're going to have a deeper understanding of the topics and you're going to be able to troubleshoot them a lot better because the ccna i would say that does definitely teach you enough that you can configure devices so you can set things up but because you haven't at that level gone into doing debugging and also going into like detailed information of how the technologies are working under the hood, if something goes wrong, then you might have a bit of a harder time figuring out why. Once you've done the CCNP Encore, at that level, you actually are getting that deep understanding. And also with the practice that you're doing in the lab, you are gonna be using debug commands. So you're actually gonna be viewing output on the devices and seeing everything that's happening step by step as that technology is working. So it does it gives you a good deep understanding of it and you can fix any problems that come up. So they will have a better understanding on how to troubleshoot networks. Yes. Okay. Now, also, it's a good idea if you are hired as a help desk, as a CCNA, and then just go straight to CCNP, because if you're already CCNP, it's not really a good idea to be a help desk and CCNP, and you can easily move to a network engineering position. Do you yeah. agree? It definitely helps. It's, actually, it, it's quite funny, because like I said, to get that CCNP enterprise, it's really only like five or 10% more. Mm. But the perception that people have of it is that it's actually like a much no, higher level. Of course not. When it's actually not. So mm. if you go and do the CCNA, unless, okay, some people do the CCNA who are in another job role who just want to have like a fundamental understanding of networking, but it's not the main thing that they're doing in their job. So for those people, yeah, CCNA is fine. 
probably they don't need to go and do the CCMP. But anybody that is going to want networking to be their main job role, definitely go do the CCMP afterwards. It gets you that higher level certification and people have the perception of you of being a much higher level like networking knowledge person when it's actually not that much more work to get it. Okay. So CCNP Enterprise. Yeah. Okay. But here's the thing. There are also a lot of people with CCNP Enterprise. So if you are competing with this position yeah. and all of you are uh, applying for that role, all yeah. of you are CCNP Enterprise, which one would give you more advantage? I, you mean if you're hiring the person, which person no, are you going to No, if you're the guy and you need yeah. to add more certification other than CCNP Enterprise, what's your recommendation? Again, it depends what you want your job role to be. If you're going to be a network engineer, then I would probably do CCNP Security next mm -hmm. because the things that are covered in there, if your job role is a network engineer, the stuff that's in there is going to be part of your job. Even though you're not, there might even be a separate security team, there's going to be stuff like you're going to be working with firewalls, VPNs, VPNs definitely mm -hmm. pretty much every company, these technologies are in use. So it's going to be really required knowledge for you to do your job. You might not need to do the certification, but you're going to need to know the information that's in there. And I always think if I'm going to learn something, definitely in IT, if I'm going to spend the time learning it, I'm going to get the certification as well, because then that way I can prove it to employers and it gets me higher up the career ladder. All right. How about F5 Big IP okay. or F5 Certified Administrator Certification? Well, you're the F5 expert, so you could probably talk about that better than me. Um, again, it depends on if you're working for a company that is using f5 then of, again of course yes do the certification get that on your resume um what's their market share now you, you you'll know better than me they're always top in application yeah. delivery controller but f5 is also focusing on multi-cloud like they're in the middle of those top cloud service provider yeah they're doing um, more cloud security yeah but if you are talking about data center, application delivery controller, slash application load balancing, there are no, I would say no competition because before the biggest competitor is um, Citrix Netscaler, yeah. but they deprecated their product. Yeah. Yeah. So the reason why I brought up F5 is because this is the part of networking that focuses on data center. So we're not talking about voice over IP. We're not talking about wireless, but more of data center networking. So these are the likes of Cisco Nexus, Cisco ACI, yeah. or if you're familiar, Arista. So it's better to also extend your networking knowledge with FI Big IP, or some companies, um, they are more towards SDN or Software Defined Networking. Do you think it's also a good idea to leverage their skills to data center networking? Yeah, of course. And get, like the more certification you get, the better because you're gonna be looking for a job later on. And if there's a company that say are, are using F5 and they're hiring and they get a certain amount of applications for that, you're the one that has got the F5 certification, then you're in pole position for getting that job. Also like other certifications as well, all the other Cisco CCMP tracks, whatever network, certifications are for Juniper, if companies are using Juniper. But Juniper is acquired by HP now. Yeah. So they are, if I'm going to take certifications, I will not take Juniper. I don't know. I don't know. I can't even remember if I have that or not. I think I do. We probably had. A... You know the, the, the Juniper equivalent of the CCNA? JNCIA. Yeah. Junos. Yeah, that's funny that I can't remember if I have it or not. <laughs> I, think, I think I do. I, I, think I, I had Junos ago. and the uh, firewall, but I yeah. didn't continue to the higher level, the specialist level. Yeah. Well, because, because they're in direct competition with Cisco, you're not really going to see companies that are using Cisco and Juniper gear. It's mm. pretty rare. In fact, 
I never worked for a company that had any Juniper gear. Cisco have got much higher market share and because their products are direct competitors for each other, it is, of course, much better to do the Cisco certification.